Warning. This video is catastrophically stupid. Beyond stupid. This this clip, this clip that we are about to react to, the individuals in this clip make Paris Hilton look like Albert Einstein. This is so catastrophically stupid. If you are allergic to stupidity like I am, I won't blame you if you don't watch this reaction. I won't blame you at all. Look, it's already starting with me. You hear? Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy YCB man, and today we have we have a reaction video. Um but before we get into it, please do me a favor. Do not forget to share it, like, and subscribe. It really helps out with the channel. Let's me know that you are rocking with the content. Uh, while you're at it, please do me a favor and follow me on all of my social media platforms at YCV94. Join the Discord. I have a link to that in the description down below. Uh, follow me on Twitch as well at twitch.tv slash watts underscore TV94. That is twitch.tv slash watts underscore TV94. I go lives on... I go live. Jesus Christ. It's been a while. I go live on Twitch and YouTube every Saturday. Um, I will always let you guys know if the schedule changes or whatever, but please join the lives. There are a lot of fun. And also, yo, my birthday is next week. I'm turning 30. I'm getting old. Turning 30. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a birthday stream. I don't know if that's going to be this weekend or tuesday my birthday is on the 28th so i will let you guys know but please do me a favor and and join the lives man they are a lot of fun anyway in today's video that we are going to be reacting to um we're going to be talking about if teenagers if if teenage boys should get vasectomies yeah 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 i, I said what i said that's that's what we're going to be talking about today and this is a clip that I actually found myself on Instagram. Um, there's nothing else that I can say about this. Um, this stupid, and I want you guys to witness the stupidity as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. When these little boys are 16, snip them. Right, so they can... When these little boys are 16, snip them. You heard what she said. <sighs> oh, boy. Reproduce. It's reversible. I'm not trying to be up in there like it's a barbershop, though. Like Y'all are so fucking selfish. So what do you think women go through when we get in IUDs, we have periods once a month, niggas is getting fucking injections in their arms, they wearing patches and all types of shit, fucking up all their hormonal imbalance, and all you gotta do is do a 15 minute procedure two times in your life? You know, this is... This is just, this is wild to me, because like... It's so easy to like think before you speak it's it's very simple very easy to think before you speak um and while you're you know in the midst of thinking you can use this dope ass search engine yo this this search engine is crazy i swear it's, it's the best thing that was ever invented it's called google you know and if you have a question you could just google it that's what i did when i saw this clip that's exactly what i did i went straight to google let me show you guys. Are vasectomies reversible? Listen to this. Almost all vasectomies can be reversed. However, this doesn't guarantee success in conceiving a child. Vasectomy reversal can be attempted even if several years have passed since the original vasectomy. But the longer it has been, the less likely it is that the reversal will work. I'm saying all you got to do is look this shit up. I don't understand how you can say something that's just that's so stupid. And wait a minute. Time out. Time out. What, the, what are we talking about here? How about you teach you teach your kids about about protection, about wearing condoms? What are, what are we talking? What are we doing here? What are we talking about? When I was of age, when I was like 15, 16 or whatever, 
My mom literally, I w it was random. I was on the, I was on my bed playing a fucking video game, probably Call of Duty. I don't know. She bought me a box of condoms and threw them at me and said, use them. She gave me a look, a stern look and said, use them. And I said, okay. And guess what? You see me with any kids around here? No. And I'm 30 and I'm married. I still don't have kids. Closest thing I, I have to a kid is, is a food baby every now and again when I partake in big back activities, all right? When I eat delicious food, that's it. That's, that's the only time I have a food baby. That's the only time I have a baby if food is involved. That's it. What are we talking about? Teach kids about protection. And not only, we need to be like emphasizing STDs as well. That's why you want, that's why you want protection. You don't want HIV. You don't want chlamydia. You don't want gonorrhea. It's, it's gross, man. It's, it's, it's gross. You don't want any of this. No offense to anybody that has like HIV, AIDS or anything like that. I know things happen. I'm still, you don't want your kids to have these diseases and all they have to do is protect themselves. That's it. What are we talking about? If I had a son, I probably would tell my son that he has to get a vasectomy until he is ready to actually have kids because there's too many men running around having kids that didn't really want to have kids. You know what's crazy? And there's too many women out here, men that don't want to have kids. How about you stop fucking with ancient ass who ain't going to take care of your possible baby? It takes two to tango. What are you talking about? It takes two to tango. And you're, you're putting the, the blame just on men. No, the blame is on both parties. I don't give a f what age they are. The blame is on birth, both parties. They felt grown enough to have intercourse without a condom. This is not just, this is, has nothing to do with the, with just men. This has nothing to do with boys. It's both of y'all. What are you talking about? It takes two people to have intercourse. If they are choosing to do that, it's both of their faults. I think that that is no different than getting your teenage daughter an IUD or, or putting her on birth control, or yes. putting her on birth control, or giving yes. her a shot or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think there's any difference with that. You know what's crazy? A lot of women that I know that have been on birth control took birth control to strictly regulate their period. It wasn't so that they could have unprotected sex. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not saying if that that's the majority. I'm not saying it's the minority. I'm just saying a lot of women that I've talked to, that was that was the specific reason why they even got on birth control in the first place. Obviously, it will prevent them from getting pregnant. Yes. Giving a, uh, I think if we had some type of male male birth control without it necessarily being surgical, mm -hmm. I would much rather my kid, my son do that. Vasectomy is not the worst thing in the world. Like, what's going to happen? What's the worst that's going to happen to you except for you not... Them not being able to have children later on in life, depending on when they get the vasectomy. It's... It's a possibility. Yo, they try, they, they try to wipe out the population at this point. Impregnating somebody because you stupid. This is a sickness. Yeah, this is this is just this is wild to me. Um because this isn't this frustrates me because this isn't the conversation that we should be having. The conversation shouldn't be, hey. We need to possibly like snip these children at the age of 16. They need to get vasectomies. No, both women, I'm sorry, both boys, girls, whatever the hell you want to identify as, you need, you need to learn about sex. You need to learn what can happen. Also, girls need to learn when they are ovulating, when not to have sex, and they also need to know they also need to learn to always use a condom, to always tell their partner to put on a condom and to say no if they don't have any. And fellas, just always wrap up. Boys, wrap it up. Wrap it up. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. I heard, yo, I, you know what, you know what's stupid about this? I've heard so many, uh, you know what's, you know what's stupid about this? I 
I hear this argument sometimes with guys. It's like, man, if if I if I can't wear if I don't wear a con if I wear a condom, you know, it, it take all the feeling all, off of it. I, I can't feel nothing. Yeah, well, you're gonna be feeling that child support for the next 18 years. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be feeling buying diapers and and formula for a good for a while. You are going to be responsible for a whole human being or or even or worse, because you know what? I consider children to be a blessing, but or even worse, or you get an STD. One that you can't cure like herpes that just fucking pops up whenever it wants to. Like, hey, I'm here. This is not the conversation that we need to be having. This, we need to have a different conversation. Let's teach our kids how to actually protect themselves. Let's teach them not to have intercourse until they are absolutely ready. And let's teach them to just be responsible in general. And don't get me wrong. I know that these things are going to happen. I know it. And a lot of you may even judge my mom for throwing condoms at me when I, when I was a teenager and telling me to use them. But... The thing that's inevitable, especially like with teenage boys, like my mom, my mom knew she raised three of us. She, she looked at all of us and said, oh, they are probably going to be having sex. They're teenagers. So instead of me just trying to just straight up prevent them, I'm going to tell them to protect themselves. And I'm going to tell them all of the, about all of the things that can happen with sex, including STDs and babies. It's that simple, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. This is so stupid. This is a dumb conversation. This is, the, again, the wrong conversation that we should be having. This is so stupid. So dumb. And again, all you got to do is look this shit up. All, instead of saying stupid shit, all you got to do is look it up. I, two seconds, I Googled that. Two seconds. Vasectomies are reversible. Yes, but the longer that you have one, the less likely that you are able to conceive a child. So you mean to tell me just because I'm 16, I got to get a vasectomy. And then when I want to turn 30 and, and reverse it, I, I I can't now. Like, how the f*** that fair? And I like how they brought up girls being on, like, birth control and, like, IUDs and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You are acting like... The, you are, you're acting like men are putting them on there. You're acting like the boys are saying you need to get put on birth control. Mm -hmm. That's what your ass need to do. No, that is that is to the parents' discretion. Also, and everybody just need to pick better. I said it. Everybody, boys, girls, men, women, babies, dinosaurs. Everybody just need to pick better partners. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This video was so this ah oh, this was so stupid. God, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me. Share, like, and subscribe as usual. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.